Hello viewers, this is Evelyn of Liva Buhai and remember the tree that I had been air layering some of them like last May and now it's middle of June and we will be harvesting one of it uh, and plant it in a pot because actually when you do air layer and it develop roots already that is the time to harvest it and then you cannot just plant it immediately on the ground because you want to have the roots be stabilized first uh, in a pot so hang on and i will show you exactly how to do it So, this is the plant that was being earlier. So we, now we have to take out the tin foil. We can save it and you know recycle it later on. And this is it. So what we have to do now is take it out. And as you see, it's developing a lot of roots. So when you see that it's already a lot of roots there, it's the time that you have to take it out. So it's actually like uh, four, five weeks since I air layered this. And now we, har we will be harvesting it. I even doubled it. And so we have to cut it here, cut it on the side. to be a little bit of force on it so now I have it so you see a lot of roots now hang on and follow me because I will be showing you how to plant it on a pot so now this plant is ready for replanting here in our container. It's actually a, a, a recycle, recycled container from a paint. Uh, we have taken the plastic that was being wrapped when we do the air layering. It's very important that you take out the plastic because this material, they don't, uh, they don't degrade. In the soil so they're not they are not actually good for the environment so you shouldn't uh, have this plastic material into the ground so be sure to take it out and as you see the roots are really developing very very good it's kind of pink here they are really beautiful because the other side is kind of pink and here on this side it's kind of white roots and it's so plenty of them and if you feel it the soil that I use or the moss that I use this is actually a combination of like some moss and most most of it are moss I just collect it in the ground under the trees in the forest and then it, it very it grows very well uh, and be sure that the tree as you see I had cut a lot of it on the top uh, try to lesser the the leaves up there uh, at the leaves of this tree uh, we cut more here and it's because it's not still yet very big so you have to be sure that you have to cut some of the leaves so it will not take a lot of energy from this you know roots now that is ready we cut already some of the leaves and we take a lot of actually so i took a lot of the leaves from this tree uh, and then now it's time to put it just be sure that you prepare already your pot with your soil on it it's not a very you know it, the, the, I, I usually just do my 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 potting soil and this is like a combination of you know this uh, soil we bought and some organic fertilizer so now I will just put it there it's just so simple just put it there and then I have here more uh, soil to put and then you just put it there so it's just actually like very easy I'm not an I'm not even like an expert on this but as what I said in most of my videos 
uh, you can learn everything. Everything can be learned, and learning is a process. It's not just like you read or you watch in YouTube or you Google and then voila, you already learn something. Of course, you learn something theoretically, but the best learning, the best part in learning is actually by doing it. So if there is something that interests you, if you are a plant lover like me, I will really recommend that don't stop learning. And if you learn something, share it. It's because maybe if it's not of some people, a lot of people in the YouTube that are sharing their ideas, their talent, and their knowledge, maybe I, I don't know either about this thing. So as you see, we have now our air layer tree and what i will do with that is i will water it so that's how it looks like now like that what you will do when you are done planting it in a pot is just to look for a place somewhere else that that this one will not be exposed to direct sunlight when you may when you harvest a new air layered plant and just planted it in a pot or any container you have be sure not to expose the plant into any sunlight it's because this plant is not yet ready to be exposed to sunlight direct sunlight it will take maybe a week after a week then you can already put it and expose it in the sunlight and it will love so what i usually do one tip i do is that when i collect my air layered plants and plant it in a container i usually have them in one place and it's because when i water them they are already available near where i water them and i have them there because sometimes if you hide them somewhere else and then you forgot then they will die and so it's very important that you if you transfer air layer plants and have them in your container have those containers or plants uh, quite near where you remember and then they are not exposed to the sunlight and they will survive make them survive for like make them be there hiding for like a week and after that they are ready to be exposed under the heat of the sun Anyway, if you're somebody who loves gardening, I have a lot of things I shared in my gardening uh, playlist. Uh, just go to my playlist and I have a lot of things I shared in there. And regarding air layering, I have done a lot of air layering uh, videos uh, and just check my playlist gardening and you see it there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope I was able to share a very good information today about m planting my air layer tree air layer tree this is evelyn again of leave a thank you for watching